Hi there, welcome to Kevin Shaves. Very nice to see you and it's nice to be back here in front of the camera with my friends. Um, it's Friday night as I film this, so hence the reason I've got the towel there because the lights are here and uh, if they glare into the shower screen it gets a bit distracting. So um, I'm just pointing out that's why the towel's there. Um, yeah, it's Friday night as I film this, quite late, so I am just want to get a shave in, then I'm heading to bed so I'll get this probably edited up and um, put on my channel tomorrow, which will be Saturday. So it'll be Saturday when you watch it, unless you're watching it on Sunday, in which case it'll be Sunday, on one day, or whatever day you watch it. But if it's the following Saturday, it will be Saturday. Although this is Friday. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> right, um, I've got a new razor here, and I've also got some old stuff that I haven't used in a long, long time. Um, Probably going back to when I first started shaving this way, six and a bit years ago. Um, I think the, the brush, the, the soap definitely is. So um, yeah, let me show you that first. Right, I'm uh, bowl lathering it. There's the soap in there, can you see it? Can you guess what it is, can you smell it? <laughs> yeah, you probably would guess. Um, this is the old tub of this. This has been rebranded. Well, there's a new label on it, but it's the same stuff. Jella. Chella Chella, yeah, classic since 1899. Uh, this is the original tub of this, look how old that is. I've got an art tub, uh, a new one, but I can still smell it's uh, like cherry almonds, um, marzipan, sort of that sort of scent. Very good, a great soap, Italian soap. Uh, so some of that is in the bowl. Uh, the brush. A brush I haven't used for a long time. One of the uh, original kind of big Plisson knots. Uh, here it is here. It's this, this is the Sterling synthetic or known as the Sterling Kong. Uh, and this one speaks because it's it's from Sterling. Sterling is a place in Scotland. All right, Kevy, how's it going? Where have you been, you big Scottish bastard? You, you've not used me in ages. I know, I've just, I've had other brushes. Ah, I suppose I've been using those yaki brushes, eh? Oh, yaki, yaki, yaki. Well, I'm the big Sterling Kong, and it's good to be back. Good to see all you people in that camera there. Hello? Are you finished? Ah, I am finished. <laughs> Come on, let me in about that cella. I'll whip up that ladder, no problem, Kevy. Okay, just sell them. <laughs> so that's the big Sterling Kong. Hello! <laughs> I always just think it speaks like that because it's uh, it's from Sterling. Sterling is a place in Scotland, as you probably know. Um, right, the razor is a new one from uh, Swiss Shave. Uh, now, you might think, Swiss Shave? I've never heard of them before. Well, Swiss Shave are changing... They used to be called the Global Shave Club. They're changing the name over to Swiss Shave. So here's a new razor from them. Uh, this is an adjustable, this is the Excalibur. Um, now this is a this is made for Swiss Shave by Wishy. So um, you kind of know what you're getting. It's got a good heft to it. It's a twist to open, adjustable. It goes one, it goes one through to seven. Uh, you'll be able to see that there. Yeah, so the adjusters on the, the the neck, the collar here sort of thing. Nice knurling on it. Uh, it's a nice colour. It has this uh, coating on it. That mine's is, uh, the coatings came off there. Now I must admit when I got this, it was pretty beat up. The packaging wasn't great. It was just in a flimsy pack with a little flimsy box. So uh, it's maybe just due to shipping. It's, it's maybe been kind of thrown about in the mail. But um, nice, um, yeah, Swiss Shave. Uh, they're formerly Global Shave Club, so thank you Sheldon for sen sending this through. Uh, yeah, it goes one, one to seven with this, the turn of this. Right, so the blade I'm gonna be putting in that is a, a vintage Paul Silver. Uh, these blades, probably from the 70s, I think. It says made in Poland, but I think they were made for a whatever writing that is, whatever country. Uh, someone will know what that says on there. Yeah, so this has had one use 
you can see the, the Sharpie mark there. Um, double wrapped. Yeah, I've used this once before. Yeah, I think they came out in the, uh, I think these are from the 70s, these ones. But if you look, right, Paul Silver, look at that um, logo down the bottom there, this this one. That looks like the Wizamet logo, doesn't it? Yeah, so, I don't know. Anyway, we'll put that into the Excalibur, like that. There it goes in there. Close the doors by twisting the bottom of the razor. And I will go for it on number... Um, let's go five to start. So set number five, you can see that. Yeah, it's all um, very clear, the numbers. There's a little red arrow here to show you what number you're on. And it, it doesn't click, It's uh, it kind of just moves as much as you want it to. Right, so it's on set in five. Yeah, good bit of uh, blade overhang as well. I'll just check the alignment. It looks pretty good. Yeah, does there any kind of... No, that looks good. So there's the uh, the blade all loaded up in the uh, Swiss Shave Excalibur. Good weight to this. It's a 3.9 ounces, which is about 110 grams. So quite a hefty razor. Right, let's uh, whip up this cella with this brush. <laughs> the big sterling Kong. Right. I know Chella can take a, a lot of water, so I've left a fair bit of water in the, the brush there. How are you good people? How's your weekend going? Have you had a shave yet or are you planning a shave? Thinking what to pick out for the shave. What soap will I use? Hmm. Right, so here's this. I'm just gonna throw some water in there. A good bit of water actually. Yeah, what soap will I use for this for my weekend shave? Hmm, what brush? As I've said as I've said in the past, some people might only have one brush and one soap and one razor. <laughs> I'm not laughing at them, I'm just laughing, I'm just laughing at them because most of us wet shavers have way too much gear. Wow, that's a ton of water. I've just thrown in the bowl there. But I know Chella can take it. Um, I used to do my little soap experiments. I still do them occasionally in the evenings. <laughs> if I'm bored, there's nothing on TV. Um, yeah, Chella was one of these soaps, when I put it in the bowl I was just like adding water, adding water, adding water and it just keep, it just keeps lathering it's an incredible soap yeah it really is, and this is a very old tub of cella probably about five years old but it still works yeah look at this, all spilling out here <laughs> I'm tired. It's late. It's getting close to my bedtime. <laughs> Friday night. Rock and roll. <laughs> Having a shave then. Going to bed. Right, that looks good. Looks a good lather there. We'll, we'll build some on the face as well. Right, so we'll just wet the face a little bit. Yeah, I've seen um, a couple of guys have this razor already in the States, but um, I tried not to watch their reviews just so I could give a honest opinion myself. Right, let me just move that out of the way. It's just a nice relaxing shave. It's very cold here. I've seen um, some videos and some things on Facebook about uh, some places in the States that have got snow. Texas and stuff. Wow. We've not had any snow yet. Touch wood. <laughs> not had any. 
Uh, I'll tell you what, I don't know, I don't know if they still, uh, if Sterling still make these brushes. I'll put them out. I know they do a, a lot of synthetic knots and stuff. I'll need to check. As usual, underneath this video, if you click the little arrow at the side and the menu kind of drops down of, uh, if I can find a link for the stuff I use, I will always um, post it there. Just uh, so you guys can take a look for yourself. Decide if there's anything you want to check out further. Stuff like that, so. Hello? Creeping about. Right, that's a good ladder. Yeah. I'll just put a little bit more water in it. Amazing cello. Really good. Yeah, look at that. Right, let's get it cleaned up a little bit. Right. Let's go with the Excalibur on set of thing five. With the vintage Paul Silver. Feels okay? Yeah, nice and smooth. Yeah, um, Global Shave Club, or Swiss Shave, as they're, I don't know if they've changed their name yet or they're just kind of in the process of it. Yeah, look at the, uh, I was just going to say, look at the, uh, the overhang on this, at the sides here. So a lot of blades sticking out. So just be careful around the ears. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, Global Shave, or Swiss Shave, as they're now known, Um, last year and the, the, the last couple of years they've brought out like um, replica Gillette razors the fat guy and the, which is a replica of the fat boy and the, uh, the, the Gillette red tip and I think they're doing one or they've got a kickstarter campaign or crowdfunding I think it is or a Gillette toggle replica. So I think that's ongoing just now. So if you've ever fancied one of those, I'll put the link and you can go and have a look at it. I think if you back it just now, it's, um, if you back it before the deadline, it's $149. And I think after that, it's uh, once once that's finished, it's kind of, once it goes on regular share, it's like 219, something like that. Nice uh, slim profile head for getting under the nose. Yeah, this knurling's really good. Pulse over blade feels nice. Right, first pass. Yeah, great slickness on that. Wow, that feels really good. Right, let me rinse it, I'll come back for pass number two. Okay, rinsed off. Yeah, great slickness on the cello. Look at my soaps in here. Absolute tons, look. Tons of peaky goodness.
Yeah, I'm just, uh, <laughs> I'm just having a little chuckle there at this brush. It's like, um, <laughs> it's like one, two, three, four, and that's your face covered. That's great. Great brush, really soft. A Plisson style knot. Yeah, one of the old original ones when they were first kind of starting to come out on the market. Right, um, I'm going to turn this down to number, I'm just going to loosen the doors off a little bit. Yeah, no problem, very smooth. Uh, I'll put it down to three. And just tighten things up again. See how it is for uh, across the growth. Right, here we go. Wow. Doesn't feel like there's a blade in there. <laughs> But you can still uh, hear it cutting. Yeah. So as I was saying, this is a this is made for Swiss shave by uh, Wishy or Wishy or however you pronounce it. Um, and they are a, a Japanese company. I think the the razors are actually made in Hong Kong. So. Careful that blade overhang. Yeah, I've never tried a, a wishy razor razor before. Some say they're not the best quality and stuff, but this feels okay just now. Uh, how long it will hold up, I don't know. I guess only time will tell. But I think uh, to buy this. To buy the razor on its own is $30. But you can also buy like a, uh, you can buy a shave kit. Uh, so you get the, the razor, you get a, a, an Amiga bore brush, um, a brush stand, and some soap. I think you can buy that plus this razor for uh, 50 bucks, $50, so. Whereas if you just buy the, the soap and brush stand on its own, it's 25, so I think you're saving, saving about five, $5, something like that. Wow, that's really good. <laughs> that's really, really good. Excellent, right, let me rinse and come back for pass number three. Right, back for third pass. Yeah, look. That's the face lathered. <laughs> I always use way too much chiller. Look how much is left in that bowl. Still plenty, plenty in the brush. But we'll get a good face wash. Yeah, it's um, it's kind of cherry, almonds, marzipan, um, the scent on the soap. This one still has a little bit of the scent, but the newer tub I've got is much stronger. So, but um, this is a uh, one of these soaps, creams, crope, whatever you want to call it. Um, everyone should have in their den, or you should at least try it once. to the Excalibur. Right, I'm going to turn this down again, use it as an adjustable, down to number uh, two. Let's go to two. There we go. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why it does that. Sometimes it seems to focus better with the camera. Right, just tighten up the doors again. Give a little rinse and here we go. Mmm, that feels mild but it's nice.
So, um, yeah, a very good, easy tiger, a very good range on the uh, adjustment for the, the blade gap. I only started on five. Um, and there was a little bit of blade feel, but it goes up to seven. So, uh, I would imagine if you like a little bit of aggression or if you've got a really, uh, a really tough beard, you can start on that number, but this feels nice now, it's quite mild. But you can still hear it cutting, 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 cutting. You can still hear it cutting the stubble, so. So it has a nice, um, range on the blade gap on the adjustment. I sounded like I knew what I was uh, talking about there, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for once. <laughs> you can still easy here at cutting. Good, feels good. Got a little blemish under my chin there, but I don't know what it is. It feels like a little bump, some kind of pimple. Oh, and I've got some good news tonight. Um, one of my buddies, Arthur Lamb. Arthur was, um, he was in hospital getting a, a little operation done. Well, quite a big operation actually. Um, and he messaged me tonight that he's been in hospital for three weeks recovering. And uh, he messaged me tonight to say that he's back home. Uh, so he's kind of recovering at home. So brilliant news, Arthur. Um, well done, Chops. That's what, I, that's what his nickname, Chops. Um, I hope you get well soon and I hope everything's going okay and you're not in too much discomfort or pain or anything like that but um, I wouldn't imagine you will be but let's just uh, keep our fingers crossed everything goes well and wishing you a speedy recovery and uh, I'll give you a call over the weekend if you're watching this right that's enough about Arthur Lamb <sighs> I'll do anything I get mentioned on video <laughs> right <laughs> <That feels. laughs> three passes done is there any pickups? <sighs> Minimal, but there is, there is some. Right, let's get lathered up for that then. Just down here. Yeah, Arthur, um, you remember the IC shaving brushes? Ian Crichton, that was, um, Ian used to make the brushes. Kind of turn all the, the resins and stuff, and Arthur would uh, put in all, all the knots. Uh, very good. Right, I'm going to turn this up for the pickups, up to number five again. So. And you might think that's a bit weird, why would you do that? I will say, well, I've done three passes and there's still little bits here, so. Turn the level, the, the level, the level of aggression up uh, on the razor. Very light touch, and hopefully that will just get all these um, just little straggle, straggle, <laughs> stragglers. All these little stragglers hairs. Yeah, so you can hear that. Now you can feel the blade at that level, level five.
but as long as you do use a, a light touch, very light touch, it'll be fine. Great, right, quick rinse. Yeah, that's a great shave. Right, let's uh, have a, a face wash, a chiller face, wa face wash. <laughs> There's still some left in the bowl. Yeah, look at this lather. Look at that. Beautiful. Remember Nick Shaves used to do this. He used to do that on each hand. Look at that. I used to do that. Look at the shine on that. <laughs> right, face wash time. Oh, fantastic. Right, you know the drill. Face wash, rinse off with hot and cold water. Clean out the gear, see you for the post shave. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, on to the post shave. Um, Nivea Men Deep Comfort. This is a kind of a, it's like a cologne scent, but it's kind of got a bit of a dark smokiness to it. It's very good. Just a good splash of that. Wow. It's not smoky, but it has a darker scent. Lovely. Yeah, I've got a few spots on my face. Too much chocolate again, too much chocolate. Yeah, that's nice, like a nice cologne. Yeah, very good. I don't see much of this about, actually, this um, Nivea Men Deep Comfort. But it's good stuff, very good. Uh, and I'm finishing off with Global Shave Club uh, Shave Bomb Post Shave Lotion. Um, this comes in this pump bottle here. I think that'll be enough. Yeah, it smells um, like a high-end cologne again. <laughs> Oh yeah, very good. I think it's based on um, spice bomb, but it's called shave bomb. It's meant to be like shave bomb, shave bomb. Very clever, these people. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, excellent. Lovely. Lovely scent, really, really nice. Let's put the lid back on that. That's it, there's the shave. But yeah, look, there's a spot there. There's one that looks like a spot there. I must cut back on the chocolate. <laughs> right, there we go. Looks good, feels good, very comfortable. Skin feels nice, nice and smooth. Great stuff. Uh, let me show you what I've used. Bowl lathered in the yellow bowl. Um, the cream, crope, soap. Chella, old favorite. Yeah, I think this is, um, this might be tallow based, so yeah, it is. So it's not for everybody. I think the new formula is just the same, so um, if, th if tallow and that's not your thing, uh, you won't be able to try this. But I think the blue one that they do, the aloe vera, I think that's a vegan um, version. Don't quote me on that, check it out first, but um, I think it is. But that's what we use tonight, the old favourite Chella. Whipped up the lather, superb. Great slickness and glide. Yeah, it's just a classic soap. Classic, classic soap. Uh, the brush. With the big Stirling Kong. All right, Kevy, thanks very much for giving me another outing. I hope it's not so long to the next time you use me, you big Scottish bastard, you. Look, do you need to swear like that? There's people watching it, but I don't care. <laughs> yeah, so the big, <laughs> the Stirling Kong, uh, 26 millimeter synthetic knot with this kind of vase shape handle, vase. You say vase, vase? I don't know. So that's it there. Yeah, great brush, still a great brush. I still love it. Uh, the razor was Swiss Shave Excalibur. Um, an adjustable, very, very good. Good range in the adjustment, twist it open, there it is there. The blade inside that was a, a vintage 
Paul Silver stainless. Yeah, a, a nice razor. Good, good weight to it. It looks good. Shaves well. It's got a great range on the um, on the blade gap when you're turning it up. I started it on five, went to three, went to two, then up to five again for the pickups. Very good. Um, smooth adjustment dial as well. So it's uh, yeah, it's a good razor. I liked it. Great weight on it. Nice snarling on the handle. No issues. Very good. Good stuff. Um, three passes pickups, face wash, rinsed it off, post shave was Nivea Men, deep comfort, excellent splash, and finished it with Global Shave Club Shave Balm. Uh, yeah, that was it. There we go, that's me ready for bed now. Smelling good, going to bed. Uh, yeah, I'll get this uploaded tomorrow because it's, uh, it's getting on now and I'm quite tired, so. Uh, that's what I'll uh, I'll do. I'll, I'll load it up and it'll be should be on for Saturday. Right. Okay. Uh, have yourselves some great shaves. Uh, look after loved ones. Enjoy your weekend. Whatever you're doing, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care, please. Right. Have fun. See ya.